Hi guys, happy new year. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth Kim. On my channel, I share my own experiences as a foreigner living in Germany. I share information that I know and I feel like if I share it out there, it's going to help someone else. Sometimes I vlog and sometimes I just want to have fun. So, uh, let me just say this. This is the third time I'm trying to make or to create this video. The first time I started creating this video, the battery or the battery went down on me. The second time, which was earlier today, I don't know what's happened to the mic. Now I'm filming without the external mic because the mic, the microphone gave me that hissing sound. It was so noisy that I tried to do everything. I tried to edit it, but the noise was still so loud. And the last time I made such a video or I made such a mistake, everybody was so mad with me. So I decided to put myself back together again and create this video again for you i hope this is the last time i'm i'm not going to redo it again no because even the motivation and the psych especially if it's a informative video because some things you have to research it's so hectic it's so annoying anyway let me go back to the good things and today's video is going to be a, a second q a about the apprenticeship in germany because after I did the first q and I received so many questions and the more the questions are coming, they're getting even more intensive. So this is going to be a more intensive and a more interesting video than the first q and So make sure you watch to the end. Feel free to criticize with this video. Feel free to share your opinion, your views and even ask more questions. So let me go straight to the point straight to the first question the first question is what type of apprenticeships are there in germany the person who asked me this question went ahead and say that in my in most of my videos when i talk about apprenticeship i'm always talking about nursing and she was even asking is nursing the only apprenticeship that you can do in germany as a foreigner and my answer is Mostly I talk about nursing because it's the course or the training that I did myself. And you know guys, if you know something better, you end up, you keep on talking about it. So that's why I talk about nursing a lot. But in Germany, there are around 335 training occupations. Most of them have a duration of three years and majority of them are so-called mono-occupation. Some few of them have a duration of two years and some have a duration of three and a half years. The occupation of three years and above are mapped in the Germany and European qualification frameworks at level four and the two years of Ausbildungs are mapped at level three. The second question is, do I need a visa? If you're a young person coming from the EU, then you, European Union, then you don't need a visa. But if you're coming from any other part of the world, then you need a resident permit for you to come here and do your Ausbildung. If you want to know more and get into details about this visa question, I talked about it in my first Q&A. Feel free to check it out. I'll put the Ausbildung in the general Ausbildung uh, link in my description box and I'll put the first Q&A link as well in the description box. So feel free to check them out. If It's even going to be better if you watch the first two videos before you continue watching this one. The third question is where can I get my school living certificate recognized? But for you to apply for a Ausbildung here in Germany, you need tra you need translated and certified certificates, and the certificates has they have to be recognized here in Germany. If you're not in Germany, you can find information about recognition of school qualifications from Anabin. I think I talked about Anabin in my first very 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 first video, or when I was talking about. Uh, anabin.kmk.org I'm going to put the link also in my description box below so that you can check the information yourself. 
the next question is what is the benefit of apprenticeship i don't think this question only applies here in germany i feel like it applies everywhere because we all have training everywhere it's the same reason as to why it's the same reason as to why you go to school or you go to the university apprenticeships are structured training programs which gives you a chance to work towards your qualification they help you gain skills and knowledge that you need to succeed in your chosen industry the next question is how is the apprenticeship payment this is someone who wants to know how much money a trainee get during the training trainee receives a training allowance throughout the training the amount is different in different industries that means uh, for those people who are in the medical industry and those people who are in marketing and those people who are in how do you call it it the payment is different or the allowances is different it's not the same so you cannot generalize everything from the 333 apprenticeships and say this is the amount they get in the first year this is the amount they get in the second year or this is the amount they get in the third year that year it depends with the branch and the industry that you're doing the house building in and during the house building, the trainees are going to pay contribution to all branches of social insurance. That is health insurance, pension insurance, care insurance, and unemployment insurance. However, this does not apply if the monthly wages is less than 325 euros. In this case, the employer pays all the social contribution. The amount of the training allowance and the social brackets determines whether the apprentice is going to pay tax. I hope I'm making sense. So the next question is, how do I choose all? What are the things to consider when choosing your training? I think, you know, this might sound very easy or you might think that someone is going to reason so fast or the same as you but i would say when choosing your training you should consider which areas you're interested in for many trainees however it's even more important to make good money during the apprenticeship you know there's some people who are going to choose the type of training that they are going to do because depending on the money that they're going to get during the training something else to consider is the chances of getting a job after the apprenticeship so because there is no need of doing going to school for three years doing an housebuilding and then at the end of it all you end up staying at home because you can't find a job you look you have to look for that housebuilding that has a future you know because i know so many trainees who don't inform themselves when they're choosing an house building and they end up doing an apprenticeship because a family member did the same apprenticeship or they end up doing an apprenticeship because it's common or so many people do it or if it's a girl she end up going into the girls house buildings like business and administration and if it's a boy he had he end up doing training in the technical area even if that's not what they're interested in just based on what other people think or what most of the other people are doing you have to inform yourself before starting any house building because i know so many people so many people who start doing an house building then they drop out they don't finish. For example, in my class, we started more than 30 people and only 11 people managed to take it to the end. So it's always better to inform yourself. There's no need of wasting one or two years. Then you realize, oh, this is not my thing. You know, inform yourself before you start. The next one is what are the most popular training occupation for girls? This one I'm just going to read. The most popular training occupation for girls are office management assistant, clerk in retail, medical assistant, saleswoman, dental assistant. And the most popular training occupation for boys are motor vehicle mechanic, 
retail merchant, electronic technician, industrial mechanic, and IT specialist. Those are the popular ones. Of course, we have many, many, many more, but those are the popular ones. The next question is, which are some of the highest paid apprenticeship? This is even more interesting. Or what do you think, guys? Some of the highest paid apprenticeship are air traffic controller, policewoman or policeman, law enforcement officer, social insurance employee, banker, merchant for insurance and finance, caregiver, IT specialist, industrial clerk, and concrete builder. Next question is, which are some of the occupations with the future? Meaning that these occupations will be increasingly be in demand due to economic and demographic features. And this is what I meant in the first place where I said you have to look for an house building or you have to look for a training where after the house building you're going to find a job. And this is one of, this is one of the most important things. And now apprenticeship with the future. For example, why I talk about nursing a lot. It's because we know about the baby pillar generation. We are in the baby pillar generation. Baby pill. I think it's the same baby. Baby is baby and pillar is pills. Like contraceptives where most of the women are not giving birth like they used to do back then in, in the days. Nowadays, most of the women have gone into career things. They are working. And so we don't have so many kids being born. And most of the genera the biggest generation that we have now is the older generation. We have more older people than the young ones. Meaning, in future, we are going to have so many people who will need care. And this is where the caregivers are going to come in meaning that if you have done up an apprenticeship as a caregiver you are going to always have a job and this is some uh, one of the jobs with no competition because most of the Germans they are not doing this kind of a job see me wahala I'm still promoting this flaky thing anyway that's my point and that's one of the jobs with a future being a nurse or a caregiver it's a job with a bright future the next one is being an engineer there will be increasing demand for engineers here in germany as the germany economy is developing very quickly and people are always going to be needed to operate develop and repair machines so if you're an engineer or if you have interest in engineering do it it has a future. IT industry is also going to grow in the coming future because of the data security system. In future, companies are also going to need employees with commercial knowledge. And due to the high population growth, which comes with high demand for food and medicine, if you're interested in science and chemistry, then a promising future awaits you here in Germany. And if you're interested with human body and you want to help people improve their lives, then you can become a nurse like me. You can become a caregiver. You can go to the like, become a, a dental assistant, you know. And those are some of the questions, guys. Those are some of the questions. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Don't watch and go watch and subscribe and come back and watch my other videos thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye subscribe